What's going on, y'all? And welcome to Double M Live, episode 106. Oh, shoot, bro. We got, one, here, bro. we got 106, man. 106 and as you can see, is this our first in-person guest? Season 4, here in Warm Studios. This is our first in-person guest. Also, this might be just our first in-person guest overall in general. Is it, what is that? The, the, oh, we breaking if, ground here. Did I just not say that? I said, is this our first in-person guest? Nah, but I Dubai think said, back, Marv, also. Marv, 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 we've been doing this a long time. <laughs> but that's what I asked. We've been doing this a long time. So I have to think back for a second. Season one, season two. Mm-hmm. Damn, man. Like, it's a lot. But you, once I analyzed and thought through it, you're right. This is our first in-person guest. First in-person so we guest. We, we're going to introduce our very special guest. But once again, this is Double M Live, brought to you by Bet Online AG. Once again, this is Double M Live, brought to you by Bet Online AG. That's Mike Nice. I'm DJ Mees. And we got a special guest in the building. Her she goes by Shalia, also the owner of Black on Brockton. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Welcome to Double M. Salud. 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 Cheers, cheers, cheers. I gotta act like I got some in my cup. That's terrible. Fake drinking. Mm. But it's okay. We're gonna let it slide. It's not, Don't edit that out. I finished my drink. It's not fake drinking. They just gotta catch up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They just sure gotta will. catch up. True. <laughs> but what brings us here tonight, man, we have a great episode. Um, got Shalia here. Welcome to Double M. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. This Thank is you. your first interview at first interview ever thank you marv mike um warm for having me so yeah that's that's dope it's happy that double m can can be the first thank you break you i'm in. honored this is gonna be the first of many because you know as we as we continue on we're gonna sh- people are gonna get to know you and see you know how you are a you know and everything you do yeah mm-hmm. you, you just you break barriers so this won't be your last interview, and we're excited to be a part of your journey today as, as we continue on. Mike, nice, bro. It's Double M Tuesday. How are you feeling? You know, if you are from where we're from, it's hot. We're dealing with a lot of hot weather mm-hmm. in, in Massachusetts right now, especially in the, the Boston area and the surrounding areas. It's really hot. So I've been trying to get through the heat wave trying to stay hydrated but at the same time i got that other stuff too uh so i'm all feeling good you know whenever it's a double m night mm-hmm. tuesday night here got my old mom here got us in warm studios on top of that we have a special guest here who we're gonna get to know gonna get into what she's into what she got popping off in her life it's gonna be a hell of a show it's gonna be a great show hell of a night hell of a, night. Hell of a, hell of a show Truly. We're gonna have to adopt her into. We're gonna, we're gonna have to adopt her into the trouble. Not only is she our special guest, but she's kind of like family to us. She's family, you know. Mm. She's a double M family member. If you don't know, we can probably get into that um, into the show. But Shalia, welcome, welcome to Double M once again. And you know, we just want to really start off by you telling us if I didn't know what Black owned Brockton was. Mm-hmm. What would you tell me? I would tell you Black Owned Brockton is a social advocacy platform for the Brockton community, e-commerce business owners, brick and mortar, and startups. Um, We started in 2020, so the goal is literally to showcase other business owners and just let the world know what they're about, let them meet their target market as long as, well, along with other business owners like all of us. So you say we, who, so clearly there's more than just you, mm-hmm. a part of this. Who's we? We as in Black on Brockton? Yeah. Black on Brockton is a family. Mm. It's a network that I built literally to make sure we're in a collaborative, cohesive space. So I'm not talking about me and the team. I'm talking about the network. Okay. So you got the saw rolling around, the, you said the network, the family. Mm-hmm. But what led you to that? Are you originally from Brockton? Like, what mm. what led you to 
having this getting the wheels on and letting it start rolling? Yeah, that's a great question. So I'm from Brockton, born and raised, went to Brockton High, went to West Middle School. Um, these are my stomping grounds. Like I've literally not moved anywhere else. I've lived on the north side, south side, west side, you name it. We've done the house party era, um, you know what I'm saying? Shoulders up to your ears. Um, What's the so house party era? The house party era. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Just for um, clarification. Basement, tank, just for basement, basement, oh, basement, basement, vibe. basement, yes. Tank. Uh, Come on now. Mm, okay. Mm, DJ in the basement mm, is free mm, to get in. Oh, yeah. My bottle's playing. So I'm really naturally, I'm a real Brocktonian. I've been here forever. Um, but one thing that led me to kicking off the platform was the pandemic, right? So during the pandemic, it was like, we, a lot of people are getting laid off, fired, don't want to go to work, and kind of reverted to doing what they naturally know, like their hobbies, like their hobbies and their dreams that they couldn't do because they work a nine to five. So people are launching platforms, but they're not getting credit or like recognition like someone who opens a buffet or a restaurant or a clothing store in the mall. So I realized that because I'm really mindful of what goes on in the community. So that, that's fine. Pandemic things are going on. But then there's protest. Mm -hmm. Protest downtown Brockton. And it was loud. It was crazy. It was going on like all over America, literally. And I'm like, OK, I'm down for the cause. Like, we're all together. But the thing was, after that, everyone's quiet. And I'm like, y'all going to put your money where your mouth is. Black Lives Matter. Do they the day after? Nobody said nothing. There was not another protest. There was not another follow-up. There was no meetings put together to like continue raising awareness about not just our brands, but us mattering. And for Brockton, I was so disappointed because Brockton is like, we're the much like black people are the majority. We're not the minority. We're the blackest city in New England. I believe it. I believe it. It's a fact. Bro. I believe it. So like, <laughs> we are. So like, how do we collaborate and like conquer and divide? So I'm like, no one's taking initiative. I'm not gonna sit back and be like, oh, Black Lives Matter, protest and do all this and not continue being vocal about us elevating in the community. So I launched Black Owned Brockton. You just made that sound too simple, though. What do you mean, I just launched Black Owned Brockton? But what pushed you there? So you, you bring up the protests. You yeah. see people, you know, quitting jobs and working on their hobbies. But you mm -hmm. just didn't wake up and say, okay, I'm launching Black Owned Brockton. Here it is. All right. So I'll tell you guys what really triggered me. There so. Ah. <laughs> there it is. Come on. I'm asking the hard <laughs> Okay, okay. You got it. You got Come it. Come on, bro. Got I woke up and I got black one. Got got no. Questions. Right. So I'm seeing that and I'm like strategizing on how to create a, a balanced platform. But I had work directly after the protest and my feet were burning and I had to wear flats. My eyes are still burning. And we got on a 9 a.m. Zoom call and the director says, well, at least they didn't touch the building. I'm like, all right, bro. Y'all y'all gonna know who we are, where we come from, and really put some respect on Brockton's name. And we're not, again, we're not the major majority. I'm sorry, we're not the minority. We're the majority. And I'm gonna show everybody what we're made of because we're being downplayed and like frowned upon. Like, what do you mean at least they didn't touch the building? Your staff were a part of a worldwide protest. Like. Let's, let's get it. I have to put something together that's really going to empower my people. And that's what I did. So over time, because this, we're talking 2020. Yes. 2020. Mm -hmm. We're now sitting in 2022. You know, from 2020, the world was shut down a little yeah. bit. Things were slow. We progressed to 2021, 2022. Things are a little bit more wide open. Mm -hmm. What is the transition been like for black owned Brockton since everybody was kind of bunkered down, can't go yeah. outside, mask up till 2022 where things are a little bit more wide open to the masses, to the public. How's, mm -hmm. how's the transition been? 
It's been amazing, honestly, because again, like we're locked down, we're not moving. And then you, you're not having access to resources or like grant funding because you have to do it virtually, then it's like a lack of retention there. You know what I mean? So the transition to like the world opening up where what I did, I partnered with the local mall, Westgate Mall, and I'm like, I'm gonna rent this space for us. Tomo, tomo, for tomo, tomo, tomo. So you keep saying shit like it's <laughs> life. Honestly. Hold on, Mike. Call, count them up. Hold on, Mike. You keep saying count it up. like it's life. You mm-hmm. partnered up with the Westgate Mall. Yes. That doesn't sound easy. Westgate Mall is massive. <laughs> like that doesn't. Not everybody know about the Westgate be Mall. Ma- be mindful of the pandemic. Okay. The businesses are are leaving. Right. There's no foot traffic because no one wants to shop. Westgate Mall, for those who don't know, is like the main mall in Brockton. Mm-hmm. Um, there's like, what, 48 stores within that central area alone, which is great. But there's also a lack of diversity. And everything is like, uh, what do you call it? Not wholesale. Um, retail. Like the regular Burlington, the Best Buys. Like these are not right. black owned. Um what really happened is... And they brought y'all a Chick-fil-A out there. <laughs> I'm sorry, Boston. Y'all don't got a Chick-fil-A. I don't know. I, no, we I Boston, Boston got one now. Y'all later. Back, 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 back Bay, right? No? What? There ain't no Chick-fil-A in Boston, no, bro. No. In the urban areas? Ro- I think there's a Chick-fil-A in Rosendale. There's a Chick-fil-A in Rosendale. Yeah, baby. No, there's not. Rosendale where? <laughs> huh, y'all, y'all be chatting. There's, oh, there's, there's, there's a Chick-fil-A in Back Bay, I believe. Back Bay where the movie theater stuff is at? Back Bay, bro. There's no Chick-fil-A over there. <laughs> Y'all bugging. Well, you know. Continue. So sorry. We were plugged in first with the Chick-fil-A, so it's fine. Um, but like I was saying, the partnership with Westgate Mall. Sorry to interrupt. What mm-hmm, is this, sir? Is Mr. Chick-fil-A Mr. And, sir. And where? So, 569 Boston. Boston Mass. I ain't Rosendale. <laughs> I said Back Bay. He said Rosendale. I said Back Bay. I'm so sorry. Which one's more urban? Mm. I see what you did there. But yes, go ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I see what you did there. So my partnership with Westgate Mall really stemmed from them trying to fill the space. There's never been a black-owned pop-up at Westgate Mall, let alone more black-owned businesses. So they reached out like, hey, we see what you're doing because prior I was doing smaller scale events. And actually here at the Stacey Adams building, right? That's what it's called? Yes. Okay. I had a few events going on and people were like, oh, that's black on Brock. Blah, blah, blah. And like the promotion really escalated. So Westgate Mall's like, we like what you're doing. Can you please host what you're doing at, you know, venues in the mall? Yes. So who at Westgate Mall said that? Like, who saw it? And they were like, oh, no, nah, <laughs> we like what this is. Um, The director of marketing actually major that's major that's real major and they took notice of what you had going on mm-hmm. things that you kind of established and created mm-hmm. I said hey can you please bring that to what we have which is the Westgate Mall yep and how was that how was that taking it there and having it blossom from there um this is something I take pride in because as you should. As you get <laughs> so, Take your flowers now. Juneteenth, I had my first large scale market. Like before, when I'd come here, I'd be like, eh, 10 Juneteenth people. Juneteenth of what year? 2021. Okay. So, wait, 2021? 20 or 20? It's 21. Um, Juneteenth. So, like I said, they reached out, wanted to collab, and they're like, collab for Juneteenth specifically. And what I did was, I got 60 plus black business owners from Brockton and even um, our neighboring communities like Stoughton and Avon to come through and sell their product. DJ is black. The face painter is black. The dancers from the Boys and Girls Club are black. No, that's that's dope. I'll tell you... Way I found out about Black Home Brockton mm-hmm. is our, our brother, great friend of the show, Jamal, that we're, we're, all, we're all cool with. Um, he was part of your pop-up. Yes. You know, 
y'all know already. He, we had him on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, wine glasses is his thing. He's he designs different wine glasses and such. And when I went to the Westgate Mall, that's where I found out about Black on Brockton. And from there, I just you just kept popping up, right? <laughs> you just kept popping up. You kept doing your thing, and you bringing black people together. Mm-hmm. I want you to really speak on that. Like, why is it so important that it's black people coming together with black owned businesses because you could you could get anybody absolutely but why did you really center on that there's something i like to coin as the opportunity divide Mm. so we don't have access to resources like other ethnicities um we don't come together as frequently to celebrate our achievements as frequently we don't have a set space or like a safe space to network to get to know other black business owners now you also have a space to meet your consumer so making that collaborative cohesive like i like to say because of that opportunity divide is really why we need to be all in unison it's unity that matters to me community engagement where the majority, majority, I keep saying majority, it's fine. It's majority, we're majority, the, majority. <laughs> major double M style. Yeah, yeah. I, I told like you she's family, right? She's family. And I like what she just said in terms of talking about me, your consumer. Like, it's mm-hmm. not every day you can shop and get a wine glass or a mm-hmm. shirt or something and meet the person or the people who made that product. Mm-hmm. Everything or a lot of things you're putting together, people are going directly and be like, "Yo, you made this." It's like you just mentioned our boy Jam- Jamal, who's making wine glasses. You can go straight up to him, like, "Yo, I really like your product. Thank you so much for providing this. It's been great, right. useful, and then you create those spaces yes. for people to make those connections. And through those connections and networking, larger things can blossom from there, which is great. Like and this. this is all because of you. And mm-hmm. like this, like you said. Mm-hmm. Um, so that happened in 2021. Yeah. Um, speak on other things that you've tried to create and and, and build upon. Because mm-hmm. I know that was a huge success. Absolutely. That you had pop off there at Westgate Mall. Speak on other things that you've had pop off from then. Again, as we've gotten back into a world that's opening up more so and kind of or trying to put the pandemic and mask and yeah. social distancing behind us. Don't be don't be modern, see this. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's get to the nitty gritty. Um, what you been doing, dog? What have I been doing? Yeah. Speak on it now. Well, that's a secret. Speak on the stuff that's not a secret. Let's it's not a secret. I'm going to tell you all the secrets, too, though. Oh, you won't she let us know the secrets. Double M exclusive. Yo, Mello, we need a, we need a, like, a, boom, boom, boom. I need an exclusive to <laughs> Exclusive on double M. Um, so I'll start with, most importantly, the world's coming together, right? Oh, yeah. Right. All right, we're back, we're outside. So my focus outside of having business to consumer is having business to business to build relationships and rapport. Um, and I'm doing that by hosting more community engagement events. So I'm going to be completely transparent. Pop-up season is done for me. Um, there's a lot of events, um, that reflect pop-ups and, you know, it's just getting, it's saturated. So, you want to see this? I want it. I need it. All right. So... There is a directory being built for business owners like ourselves. Well, you will have access to each other directly. Not like, hey, DM me for da da da. What I'm doing is someone like, um, I could say, We Are Rise Media, boom, submit for the directory. And guess what? Your price list, your photos, your team is all there through Black Owned Brockton. Like, people have direct access to you. You know what I mean? So that's that's one little secret. I haven't launched it just yet. I want to perfect it. Um, 
should I get into the events? What do you What do you mean? <laughs> Don't hold you, back. Ask one more nah. question, dog. Uh, I'm trying to. Nah, we got. Trust me. Yeah. What events? What What events are coming up for you, or that you're super excited? Super for? top secret. Yeah. We, we, okay. Listen. I'll say it because you guys are involved, but it stays here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um. So August sixth, I'm pairing with the black owned brewery brew pub in downtown Brockton to have an entrepreneur networking and game night. There will be black owned wine. There will be a spades tournament hosted by one of our beloved community members, Ollie Spears of, I firmly believe it's total mortgage. Mike, oh, Mike, George, the you know mortgage I, guy. Mike, you know how to play spades? I don't nah, know how to play not. spades, but I'm going to leave it up to y'all. Hey, yo, I'm not we are three speech. black people here. Who um, do not turn know it off, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> we might have to. Yeah, we're just going to delete. Player. We're going to delete oh, this. That's not, that doesn't help our case. I'm sorry. <laughs> that doesn't help our I case. I just want to say, oh. I know how to do some with cards. That Listen, doesn't help Fox our case. Woods, that's not. <laughs> <My man> said, <laughs> we're Texas wrong for hold them. <laughs> we play Texan Hold. Right. We, we got to learn how to play spades, guys. Yeah. I'm tired of going to parties. House parties and I'm like yo, we playing space hop in. I'm nah. like, and I'm like, oh. I can't lie. There's been a lot of functions I've been doing. Let's play space, and I'm like, yeah, I'm over here with that. But then, can't play. We also Sorry. have to realize the older black generation is not willing to teach us. Yeah, they just look at you like oh, you don't. This one, well, then play, you ain't then playing. We, yeah, you just not play. It. That's it. I'm, I don't. For me, I'm Caribbean. I don't know much Caribbean people playing space. It's dominoes. Oh, I gotta add dominoes to the list. Uno. Oh, yeah. Dominoes is my game. And I know about main from school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, 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 and poker. Listen, mm-hmm. that's all I know. Cars. If there was an Olympics for dominoes, I'd be in it. That's me and Uno. That's a lie. Uno <laughs> Olympics, bro. That's a lie, bro. I've, I've known you for too long for you to say that. Oh, I'm nasty when I play. I learn the tricks and trades. Oh, no tricks brother. and trades. Master. I've known him for too long for you to say this. Reading cards and faces. I'll drink to that. Look. Listen, Mike, stop. My dad taught me. Your dad taught you Uno, and that's why you're so good at it? Yes, my dad's a nasty Uno player. <laughs> but he'd be ashamed, bro. I played with you many times. Just disrespect my daddy. How did I disrespect your dad? <laughs> <laughs> How did I disrespect your dad? <laughs> Disrespected you, not your dad. I'm good. You mm-hmm. all right, bro. You all right. My fault. You're talking no, no, about no. the games that... Vibes, is, vibes, love. You know, my fault. It's community and gaming, literally. But we need to learn how to play space. This is... We, 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 come on, guys. Well, Ollie is open to teaching us. Because I told him I don't know how to play. And he's Ollie? like, yeah, Ollie's, Ollie's a great spears. guy. Ollie's a great guy. Shout out to Ollie. Um, he's willing to teaching us in advance, so we're not embarrassed right. when we get right. there. Um, but the goal of this event is for businesses to meet other businesses, network, um, the dress code. There's a dress code. There's a dress code August 6th? Yes. Okay. What is it? Bring your own brand. Rock your own merch. Or your favorite business's merch. Chief. Oh, got to talk to Warren. Yeah. ASAP. Double okay. Double M got to be prepared for that. Ever? <laughs> 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 a little Double inventory. And you have to bring business cards. Ah. Mr. Print. Just quick, quick, Mr. Little, Print. quick little 20. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Tell them about Mr. Prince, the business resource. <laughs> I know they make cards. I can't break down all of that. We need business cards. So that's the requirement. I make my own, chop some up with a freaking. Please, uh, bro. Like we used to oh do in my. college. <laughs> with the. Um, What's it called? Paper cutter? What's oh called? my goodness. The slicer thing the slicer. that I use in the art. <laughs> we yeah. definitely back in college we used to. Did you eliminate them too? No, we just took them, them off from the to. printer. <laughs> we typed them up on, on Word. Uh, word that we went, sliced them up ourselves. No lamination, no nothing. We just go drop them on in the dining rooms, on the tables. Or give them out to people. Hey. What type of paper? And I'll leave you alone. What? <laughs> Computer paper. <laughs> on, the tr- yeah. on the tree. I don't know. No. You can, you can lie a little bit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we were real on here. Straight from the tree. Computer copy oh, paper. No. We wasn't. In, we didn't know. It's fine. It's fine. We didn't know. I let her run. Hey, but people still tuned in. You can still rock That's with true. us. And you know they tuned into we, all we, our links and everything we had popping we, up. We made. We made. We made it work. We made it work. Was mm-hmm. we superficial with it? No. Mm-hmm. But we let our personalities carry us. 
the spirit of entrepreneurs. That's an entrepreneur thing. So we, 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 we learn how to get it from the mud, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight from the mud. Do what you got to do. Well, shout out to shout out to Jamal as well. He 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 had the um access to the art room where the slices yeah. were. Mm. Access <laughs> the plug. Like, plug yeah, man, statue of limitations still might be. Yeah. Out of, we don't know who listens. Yeah, access. He had the access. We got in the, Okay, <laughs> we, that's we all that matters. All right, that's what it is. Down to business. Um, but yeah. So, August six. August, August six. We're invited. Oh. Can I elaborate who is going to be curating the music? Do whatever you got to do. Who's, who's, like who's, who's, who's doing the music? I don't know who's doing the music. Who's doing the music? I don't do music. My friend Marv, Double M and Friends. I play a little. I put a little music there for the background. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Make sure everybody feeling good. So if it's tunes, make sure you. This is the plug. Yeah, man. For the vibes. Definitely. You know, we're gonna play a little music in the background. Make sure everybody copacetic. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, nice. Skip nugget, you buck. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure everybody's in tune with the tunes. You know what I'm saying? Real vibe it's things. Real vibe things. Real vibe. Oh Back my in... gosh. Oh, man. And the owner, they're from different demographics. So it's like Haitian, Jamaican, Asian. You know what I mean? So. You got to tap into all the cultures. Mm-hmm. You want me to play K pop? Yes. <laughs> yes. I've never heard a K pop song. You ever heard of K-pop song? Who's well, K-pop? I can't give I, K-pop. My kids listen to K-pop. That's the new. That's the new thing right now. I don't know what K-pop. Is. K-pop. Okay, is I heard, I'm with. I'm with money. I heard it. Cool. 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 I know what it sounds like right now. I do not. I couldn't K-pop tell you K-pop is the new. Song. It's like a. It's like sped up R&B. Sped up R&B. Yeah. Is that, so is that yeah. R&B? That's called Chris Brown. No, no, no. <laughs> Did they hear me? Don't bring up this Chris Brown. <laughs> don't bring up Chris sped Brown. Sped up R&B. This Chris Brown. August Alcina types. Ready for war. Here Mike, the go. only one in the world that listens to August Alcina. Yeah, you are. I'm the only one. You the only. Well, he one don't got. Listens. It's not like he got new music out. It's Mike not. is the <laughs> only one who listens to August Alcina. Hey man, the guy. I wouldn't say he's a. He got some solid music I listen to. Like what? It's not. It's, it's old it's stuff. He don't have no recent stuff. Go ahead and sing it, Mike. You want me to sing? Go ahead, money, Mike. Uh, I'm not singing all this. <laughs> But why are you saying when he like, first came out, he, he had some solid stuff. Mike got August Alcina song from the 2020s. What's it called? What's it called? I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, Your phone there, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. August Alcina. I'll tell you some. Y'all, y'all bugging on August Alcina. Not like he sucks. I mean, he ain't no popping current R&B artist, but August Alcina got some stuff. August Alcina drops a mixtape today. Mike listening to that. Show. Oh my. Let's see. Oh, I you, he got downtown. He got. He came with something in 2020. Nobody's downtown could be Wale's downtown, but it's fine. He got lessons as soon as you walk in. Oh my goodness. Have you ever heard We're of it? We're going to make sure we put the cricket sounds. And <laughs> <laughs> we both look away. He got, our, he got I Love This Shit with Trey Song and Chris Brown. I Love What? I said the name of the song. <laughs> hey, bro, we, 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 we one and one, one right one, now. One one. One and nine. One one. We won't get to it. It's going to pop up there. More pass it. Why not? New thing on Double M here. Anytime Mike swears. Mike? We got we to gotta take a little. Double M heads who's been rocking with us for a while. Please understand. It's not me. Mm-mm. It's Marv. You know, it's a family oh. show, so we try not to cuss here. Mike standards. So if we let one slip like he just did just now. Gotta take I a think little you're sip. the problem, Mike. I don't know. I'm the problem. Yeah. It's always me. August, They've been telling me that since I was young. It's uh, always Mike. Okay. <laughs> you wanna, who do we need to have a sit down? <laughs> oh. They've been, little telling discussion. Me, they been telling me that since I was young. It's always you. Tell us how you wrote it. I'm like, damn, bro. But I didn't know that. I didn't know it got deep like that. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Your cup's empty. Um. That's okay. That's okay. It sure ain't full. Oh. It's full, actually. It's full. You're slacking. Cheers. But yeah, black on Brockton, huh? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bella laughing in the background. Yeah, laughing at us. You make your moves, no? Let's let's get. Oh, I didn't drink my fault. Wow. What kind of You're making moves. I'm making moves. You're growing. Mm-hmm. You're blowing up. Mm-hmm. August sixth, you having a um, an event popping off. Mm-hmm. What do you see as your like 
obviously you're doing a lot of great stuff now, which is awesome. Thank you. But if you had like a personal vision, a goal, like, yo, I want to make this pop off. I want to see this happen. Maybe it can't happen right now in the immediate future. Mm -hmm. But like a long-term, big goal, dream that you want to see pop off of what you have going on. What would that be? Y'all want to know my secrets? Listen. This is what we're here for. You gotta yeah. start calling the, the calling this. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not secret. You, you know, just... World's best kept secret. So, yeah. my goal, long term, it might be you know closer than I think, oh, but that's great. I want to own a brick and mortar storefront to create an incubator space and hub. So. Oh, you're saying a lot of words here. Break that down. Break it down. Run it back. You're saying a lot of words that Mike might not understand. So I just said Mike. I just want you. Okay, okay, okay. What would that be? I'm going to tell you right now. Go ahead. Incubator space is for people to have access to resources. Um... Basically, a WeWork. Do you know what WeWork is? You want to tell us? So that it's a co-working out. space. Cool. But it's going to be a co-working space for black people and retail. So not only do you have a space where it's your desk and you can sit down with a bank, you can also sell your product and like a whole section belongs to you. Mm. Still front. So how does that work though? How do you, what are the steps to take you to get there? You need to acquire a space. That's it. That's, That's it. all you need. I have the plan. I have the people. You just need to I need my space. space. So this is this is like on go. Yeah, it's on go. That's beautiful. On go. The vision is there. Wow. That's crazy. So I ain't gonna lie, when I asked you that question, I was expecting to be like, yeah, I hope and I pray and I plan and that this <laughs> but you like nah. Give me, <laughs> give me a space and I already got it ready to, to pop off. Yeah. That's beautiful. And that's, that's why really I keep beautiful. emphasizing on like partnerships and community engagement because if every time I plan to host something, it's more business to consumer. I'm selling a product, selling a product, selling a product. You're not building relationships amongst your peers. We need to sit down on the sixth and be able to be like, so when are we doing this again? Mm -hmm. When are we linking? There's no space in Brockton for that. There's no... I can't go to the Y, I can't go to the library and be like, I'm having a black business meeting and we're also going to sell product and we're buying each other's products. There's nowhere to do that. There's no safe space. So I'm going to create that. Yeah. That's, that's inspirational. Yeah. To be honest, like, let's get, let's get straight to it. Yo, you're a black woman who's doing this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not easy. The work you're trying to do. It's not like, easy. There's yeah. definitely obstacles mm -hmm. that you're you faced and that you're going to face just being by who you are right and what you, and what you're going through and i know a big reason why you're even here is like we're chatting up on on social media yeah. and, and i've seen like you you're going through it mm -hmm. right you're not this is we hear these stories where people are going through things and it sounds all roses and daisies and right. beautiful like wow this is inspirational but this shit you have to go through we're not doing it. <laughs> I caught no, you. No, 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 it's okay. No, 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 no. This is, <laughs> this is serious, guys. Guys, this is serious. Okay. Sorry. This time is serious. There's things you have to go through mm -hmm. to get to where you are. Absolutely. Now, your your business is called Black-Owned Business. It's not called mm -hmm. Minority-Owned Business. It's right. not called African-American-Owned Business. It's called Black-Owned own business i got two part question why specifically black mm -hmm. and what have you gone through as a black woman to get this thing up and going and with the name black house has that either enhanced or hindered you mm -hmm. straight to the money so um you said why black yeah why what black? because i think black encompasses us all now, when you say something like minority, women ourselves are a minority, right? But that could be someone who is not black being a minority. So I want to be very specific as the blackest city in New England that 
it's black owned Brockton. Nothing else. It can't be No no one can lead have any type of wiggle room. You know no, exactly what Jamaican, it is. Jamaican, Verdian, Haitian, Puerto Rican. If you identify, you're part of the family. That's just that's just how it's supposed to be for me. Mm. Um, because if you think about it, right, when you do some of these government assistant uh, surveys, whatever the case may be, you want to get into college, it doesn't say, are you Jamaican? Not sure, no. It don't, doesn't say, are you Haitian? It says, are you black? Black or African American. Survey says they want those numbers. They need to know who is black. And typically it's for something where you have a barrier like financial aid. They want to know if you're black. Rental assistance, they want to know if you're, not only if you're black, but your ethnicity. That's data, but it's it's being captured and we're in numbers. So anyways, um, I also didn't go with minority because I women are a minority, but in Brockton, black people are the majority and that's it. So I'm not using the word minority, and the word minority is minor. We're major. Mm-hmm. Everything we do is major. <laughs> so one more time for the people in the back, please. So I, we should stop gearing towards the word minority. Minority is minor. Brockton is majority black, and we're major. Everything we do is major, so why are we coined as the minority, having less? That's not us. We're, there's an abundance here of black joy, this culture in the city. It's a melting pot. So. Um, That's real. <laughs> and like, coining the brand black owned comes with a lot because there are other entities or politicians or community members that would prefer that we stay coined as the minor, minority. I don't agree with that. Majority owned Brockton kind of sounds a little weird. We're black, period. Um, Something that came up recently was kind of funny to me and I had to add it to the website was like, someone said, can there be a white owned Brockton? And I'm like, <laughs> when you launch it, let me know. Like, like go owned. ahead. Who said that? Someone on Brockton Hub. <laughs> oh, Bella, I'm all trying to get so... the information and shit. <laughs> <laughs> who the... I don't I'm know who to... said it. <laughs> My fault. My fault. What is it? Everyone tagged me, and I'm like, am I supposed to be the enraged black lady? That like loses their cool off of someone trying to play off my brand. No, if there's a white owned Brockton, let me know. I added it to my site. When you figure it out, please contact us. It's at the bottom on the contact page. Um, so that that's challenging. And then dealing with organizations that want to partner, but they don't want me to say the word black. But why is that? Why does the word black intimidate folks in your in your experience? I think that folks are starting to notice our camaraderie, um, what we're capable of, and it's threatening. I think we're a threat to the oppressor. But but what's the threat, though? That's the crazy part. What is the threat? Well, think about the Black Panthers. What was the threat? And that's crazy. Because in all honesty, you just brought up the fact that somebody hit you up and said, can there be a Mm white-owned... Brockton. Is Brockton not already white owned? <laughs> like, and I'm just thinking, and I'm just thinking larger in general, like, honestly, in this day and age, I never want to see a white owned anything point blank period ever again. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, while yes, Brockton is majority black people, yeah. we still live in a country where black people do look like me, mm-hmm. you, you, mm-hmm. we're the minority in this yeah. country. So... For there to be a white owned anything, people who look like us mm-hmm. or people who are just the minorities of other, you're going to still feel like the minority, especially if you see something that says white owned. For the fact that someone would say that, they're, they're, not, not, they're, they're, not, not, they're, not, they're there. not there. They're not there. And I'm not saying they're stupid. They, they're dumb. But like they're not understanding of what this country is yeah. and where this country has come from. Mm-hmm. Um, 
you have a black owned Brockton. If there was a Hispanic owned something or no one would have a problem. You you, you can't have a problem there because at the end of the day, we still live in a country where if you black, you Hispanic, you Asian, mm -hmm. you going you're the minority regardless. Mm -hmm. That's just the reality of the situation. So for the, the sorry, that triggered me that someone hit you up and really said, "Can there be a white owned Brockton?" Well, there's a platform called the Brockton Hub, and all they it's like a smear campaign of like smear. <laughs> I don't even know at this point because I had to leave. It's yeah, like thirty k people and and outside of Brockton who are like they just go on racist racist tangents or like will the humanize a business owner i've seen it time and time again and wildly enough the owner of that platform is black no 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 you whispered that only i heard it he's black yeah these mics are good they might have heard, <laughs> might have heard that one. best kept secret um how does that make you feel makes me feel terrible because instead of um moderating so let me this is like a facebook page yes so it's been up for a it's while it's just like a citywide yeah hub where people can come talk about yeah if you're doing something good post, post it on it. there if you've seen a lost dog post it on there but you're seeing that you're seeing that it's showing negative comments on black owned businesses is that that for one other community members and key stakeholders are being torn down on that platform I personally cannot, you can block the page, you can report it, but there are people from outside of Brockton who come and continue to antagonize behind their profile that has no information attached to it. So how do you confront that? If you, you, I mean, you say you left, so is that your way of just saying I'm not even... Absolutely, but I think... I'd shake the room if I really spoke with the owner, but I'm not sure what other community member efforts looked like if they tried to do that, or like, is he actually accessible? Um, is this entertaining for him? And what is his neck, like what is his thoughts on it? I just, it's, it's crazy, but. I think at the end of the day, you doing what you need to do. Mm -hmm. And you got to continue with, to do what you feel is right. Right. And I think I can speak on behalf of Double M where I say you've established something amazing, something solid, something people can connect to, something people can tap into mm -hmm. and get themselves out there. You know, Black on Brockton, you know, you tap into that. And you, you get your business, your passion, like you were speaking on earlier, your passion out there. They can all do that and have a space to do that thanks to you and because of you. So you got to be proud. You got to be happy. Mm -hmm. You got to take pride in the fact that you've established something great. Right. Established something awesome. Cheers. And we going to drink to that. <clears throat> Just put a little something, something in my cup. So shout out to you. We Thank giving you. you your flowers. One thing that we do here on Double M for sure. If you've been rocking us for a while, we make sure to give our flowers. Mm -hmm. So you've seen all the episodes. Cool, cool. This episode right here, 106. We're giving our flowers to you. I'm going to give flowers back. Hold on, hold on. It's not about yeah, us. Yeah, no, 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 there are, I've been contacted to do like interviews and sit downs and like, mm, mm, right. your platform is a, a safe space. No one on your platform looks like me. We can't joke. I don't know you. I don't feel comfortable. You guys created a comfortable space for me to share my story. And I've never done this. That's an honor for us to, no, like we pre-production, I was just here. I'm like, yo. Have you done an interview before? Because you, you were nervous. Never. You were nervous and you were like, no, this is my first one. I was shocked. <laughs> Off of the moves you've made and everything, I figured this is this is going to be routine for you. No. This is another another part. You just talking your stuff. But 
you say this is your first one here at Double M, that just means a lot that you can, you know, you can trust us. Absolutely. And, you know, that you know that we're not, we're, we're, we're here to support you mm -hmm. and with everything that you're doing. We're right. excited. We're excited with the moves in. I mean, I guess the neighbors next to us are excited too. Yeah, they're they ce they celebrating right now. Okay, so, so we, let's tap into some nitty gritty. Yeah. Some we would like to do here on Double M. Um, do I need company? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Oh no, he put his hat on backwards. We're gonna get into a little rapid fire fun here. And this is what we do with all our guests here. Okay. You just gotta be ready to answer. Are these yes or no's? Could be. Maybe. Could Listen, be more we, than we, that. We've done this. We just, we just haven't done this in person. This is our first in person. We, true, all man. our guests have been, you know, virtual. So we're gonna kick it right off. And I'm gonna just take the elephant out the room. Okay. Cause it's already about to spark off a little conversation. Is I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm room? glad. I'm so glad you're about to start it off with. Oh this. my gosh! I'm get it All out right. the way. Get it out the way. Wait, buddy. let me uh, put my forces out a little bit. Just stretch you a little bit. into this last episode. When I ask this question here, you already know what we're gonna get to and how this might unfold. If there was a versus to pop off, mm -hmm. are you taking Chris Brown or are you taking Usher? What were our stances, by the way? You know, yeah, the, I don't know people, where you guys stand. Let the people know what, <laughs> what we were talking about. Mark said Usher. I'm rocking with my boy CB. Go ahead. You shake your head. What I said. Usher. Why so? I'm curious. Legendary. That sounds like what I said. Hold on. <clears throat> it's okay. Speak your mind. Where was Usher at? That's so fucking. <laughs> no, you trying to do that too. Ask him. I know where he was. Ask him. Make sure he knows. Where was Usher at? At seven o'clock. What is this? The, I'm just curious if you know where Usher was during that time frame. Where was Usher at at seven o'clock? What What are we doing here? Oh my goodness, Mike! This what is really important. Mike, know. Mike, this is really important. Where it's was Usher culture. at? <laughs> no, like, no, no. Think, this think, this think. Where was Usher at at seven o'clock? Why are we doing this? <laughs> to prove a point. I know, I know the song. Just what say song it. is it? Where was Drop it? Top Cruising the Street? Okay, okay. okay. What that mean though? That's, That's supposed it. to be because I know that song. That's he it. gonna win? No, 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 no. She just wants to make sure you were in two. You taking Usher in the verses? Yes. His 10 versus CB's 10. Mm -hmm. We better hope it's CB 40 versus Let me, Usher 40 for I don't need to, We don't need to do this again because we already did in the last episode. Usher has an amazing body of music. Yes. Chris Brown also has an amazing body of music. Okay. I think Chris Brown's problem is he's tried to pump out too much music. Yes, which is like he on our side. I don't get it. I don't no, know who's side really, Listen, he said, Chris no, Brown no, problem. because you me personally, I'm gonna take Chris Brown if he gives us top ten or Usher's top ten. That's just me personally. But I'm saying the problem, which is why I realize I know why people are not looking at CB's way, is because you could automatically look at okay, Usher got bang, 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 no problem. You said it. Chris Brown, he also has bang, bang, bang. But the reason why it's not memorable is because while Chris Brown has bang, 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 mm -hmm. he also has bang, bang, bang. We gotta talk. He's and that's the problem. For us. At the end of the day, if it's a versus 10-10, Usher CB, I'm taking CB. That's me personally. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, that's it. Now, I have a question. Before we move what, on. What happened to Rapid Fire, bro? No, no. You you decided to do this. No one told you to do this. I to ask you something. went on IG and mm -hmm. you put on a poll. Now I'm about to go vote mm. on your poll. Because we, we just, as we record this episode, we just put out our last episode. So, I want to see... Who voted for you? Put on a poll on your IG. Oh, hold on. Let me saying, contribute. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Let me contribute. It might be. It might be. It might be crazy if you contribute it. Mike Nice put on. Let me see right here. First of all, he put on a whole rollout of Chris Brown. 
I don't know what that was. I'm you trying to get up the crowd? Yeah, like, he put out a... Look, look what he did. Look what he did. Look what he did. I'm sorry. He'll never be MJ, but he's still great. Because he put out a whole co- rollout. Listen. But why'd you have to advocate for him in advance <laughs> and before the poll? people over here talking about... There's people, not me, there's people in the media comparing Chris Brown to Michael Jackson. No, 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 no. People okay, so know. so this is what Mike I'm wrote. Sure. And I don't agree that he's Mike, he's better than Michael Jackson. Mike Knight, who wins a verse about Chris Brown or Usher? He put CB, Usher, time. I'm going to vote for Usher and I'm about to see the score. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I put a poll out. Hey, yo, yo, like, yo, Mello. Can you how, walk how up many, to the camera? Mello, <laughs> how many percentage them. do you think CB has? Like nine. Nine? I wish, brother. I wish, brother. Mike put a poll on. Everyone knows Mike is a CB fan. The, CB has zero percent of the votes. I don't know who clicked title, but it's fine. Usher, oh, he got it. Oh, God. <laughs> Usher has 90, and the tie, he might put a tie, you know, try to give him some wiggle room. 10%. See, I didn't know. You this, defeated, I, le- I legit, I legit, I legit just did it now. I had no idea it was going to be 90 to 0. I don't feel defeated at all. I stamp. I'm, I'm not going to ever change my opinion. No, no one wants you to change. I'm, no one wants you to change. I'm a Chris but, Brown fan. But I'm versus sorry. his public... <laughs> Versus is public yes, perception. It is. Yeah, let them do a versus. Let's see what the people th- people thought. Omari was going to give Mario that the business. That was so terrible. I don't. Want no, to that's true. People that's thought Omari was going to give Mario the business until the versus happened. The, I'll give you that. And then there's many say, times oh, I thought someone was going to win, and then the performance so, swayed me. But I know how Usher do his thing. Well, and solid. believe me, don't get it twisted. I, I love Usher. I, I'm an R&B. I'm an old school R&B. Mm-hmm. Head. R&B. And Usher go hand in hand. And I believe Usher has great music. But I also believe Chris Brown has music as well that I've connected. The thing with Chris Brown, he's, tap, try, he's tried to tap into different genres, one. And then two, uh, he's tried to put out mad music. While well, Usher just hits, hits, hits. Chris Brown is hits, but a million other things. Hits, and then a million other things, which I think... Like I said in our last show, 105, tune into that. That's hurt Chris Brown a little bit. On top of the fact that his vocals may have taken a hit over the years because of some other stuff that he might have been doing in his life. Chris Brown's vocals, when he came out with Yo and all of that, Chris Brown's vocals was like, okay, this little kid, over the years, people know Chris Brown, he might have had some substance abuse and this and that. Mm -hmm. That might have affected his voice over the years. That stuff has never really came out, but Usher, Usher's been the same since day one. I mean, I know he's had his little STD thing, and you know. Come on, brother. We're talking about music here. I, I, I said the same thing about Chris Brown. I, I'm saying this vocal, vocal wise. Talk about music here. Brother. Usher's vocals have never really changed over the years because he's never really been known to be into other stuff. Chris Brown, on the other hand, on the other hand, is different. But at the end of the day, it's Usher for us. It's Usher for y'all. Chris Brown for me, hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, Marv. Let's get back. Right, back to the rapid, rapid round. Rapid, rapid, rapid. That was not rapid. It Y'all wasn't. Change your mind. I knew it wasn't gonna be rapid. It wasn't but. gonna be rapid. But listen, rapid question. Ready? You got like five seconds. Hot, sunny day. What is your preferred snack? Popsicles. Does that count? Flavor. Blue. Raspberry. Ooh, yes. I like that. I okay. like that. Okay. okay. I like that. Okay. Um. You want to cook up? Mm-hmm. What are three things that must be on the plate? A burger. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but the mac and cheese has to be fire. Um, and oh, I don't know. I'm not just gonna eat a burger and mac and cheese, but okay. Wait, I'm at a cookout, so we on a grill. Redact the mac and cheese. Am I, really, am I taking over the mac and cheese? Like, is it catering it's style? Cool. Is it like you, you serve a plate? You had a cookout. It's, it's, it's your, your top three. So I don't wish you all the cookouts you've been to. What are three things that got to be on that plate? Um, my <laughs> uncle Willie's fried chicken, um, May May's collard greens and cornbread. I'm say? sorry, it's not really a cookout, but Willie, top three. You know Willie? I know Willie. Willie, Willie had the best chicken in the whole city. I swear to you. Um, that's top three. That's not really cookout vibes, but I'm not a 
burger and hot dog and like cookouts are like mad meaty and like our culture don't know how to like be you know here's a salad or like here's a fruit if you potato can. salad no sorry and the y'all don't like potato please. salad come on man. It's just mayonnaise and stuff. Listen, I can't miss this. You're going to get me canceled. I can't <laughs> no, I feel you. You're going to... No one likes potatoes. Uh, listen. Potatoes and, and, I, 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 potatoes and mayonnaise? I love, I love my Haitians, and Haitians make potato great salad. potato salad. Haitians okay, macaroni and, salad? and Hispanics make bomb yeah, potato I, salad. I, the Dominicans, too. I skip all over that. <laughs> I, I want y'all rice, y'all chicken, y'all okay? everything else. Okay. That potato salad just for, it's for decoration. Potato salad bomb, bro. Melon, melon. I know melon, melon. Yeah, okay, something. so you like potato salad, macaroni salad, I tuna macaroni salad. salad. Tuna salad. So you just like mayonnaise. That's all it's the stuff stuff that goes and in. and mayonnaise. It's Look, a protein. I ain't gonna put ma- I, I'm not one to put mayonnaise on a sandwich. Can I do rapid fire? Okay. But if they go into potato salad and tuna salad, I'm gonna eat it. Mm-hmm. Tuna sa- tuna tuna casserole, whatever it's called. Alright. I don't know, Mike. Mike different. Bro. I, know, I think we push his, <laughs> push his table over Mexico. a little bit. You got some music Mexico for your skills. <laughs> <laughs> I did Mexico for Jesus bro. Christ. Bro. <laughs> Alright, wait. No, it's not gonna be. I just I just eat everything <clears throat> to be honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hellman's or Miracle Whip? Rapid fire. I don't really know the difference. It's both mayonnaise. Yes, they are. Sure, put it on whatever. Get this. Tuna salad, tuna <laughs> no. casserole, whatever. That's a What's okay. it? Helmets, most likely helmets. Okay. Helmets, helmets, okay. Because helmets, helmets got that olive oil. Okay. <laughs> and yourself? <laughs> Since you helmets. missed the giggles, <laughs> Hel- okay. <laughs> helmets, I don't know don't what get their cooked. purpose. I don't know what their purpose. I'm like uh, frosting. Have my little rapid fire real quick. All right, I got you. Ready? What made you fall in love with your city of Brockton? Um, cut that out. I did that part. <laughs> um, I don't know. I have the. I could be myself. Like I don't gotta be like, oh, I gotta work a corporate job at a bank. I see kids like me. Um, the house parties, the Brockton High cookies, the. The East Side Pool, stuff like that, like it, it's always been cohesive. Like, I never felt like an outsider ever. Like, it's mine. Not just as ours, it's ours. It's ours. I like that. Okay, here's my last question. Mm-hmm. Dinner for five. You already know I'm going with this. Dinner I don't. Dinner for five. <laughs> Obviously, you're one of the guests, so you can invite four people. And I'm talking anybody through history, family, I'm not doing famous. This. You got to. No, this is what we do on Double M. Yep. Family, famous, throughout dead, history, dead or, dead or alive, don't matter. You obviously one of the guests, so you got four more to invite. Who would you invite? Four people. This is hard. No, it ain't. You, yes, it is. You, you don't got people. It's hard and all, but it's rapid, so you got to. You know, mm-hmm. Rapid. <laughs> um, <laughs> time, time hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know time, it's hard, but you got to rapid. Time is of the essence, it. like... Um, celebrity musician. Who don't do I really want to meet? I'm not doing cliche. Love Literally, you, not, love you, Nip. But um, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. I like that. It's different. Um, um, rapid, who's rapid, at rapid. dinner? grandfather's at dinner okay back don't matter who is your grandfather um yo, willie's at dinner Willie too? willie's at dinner okay. um and i gotta pick who do i have a favorite auntie or somebody famous no. um yo this is really really hard i mean it's anybody oh in big history. l bro what big l wow jesus wow. christ I like Big That's L. That's the most Brockton answer ever. I like that. Big L, okay. I like Big L. Damn, that's kind of... I need block, a bigger table. You got a block freestyle with Jay-Z. I really like it. Uh, 93? It's 93 or 95. It's not 95. I was born 95. And Big L got a wild freestyle with Where Jay-Z me. was messing up? No, Jay-Z wasn't messing yes, up. Yes, he was. He just wasn't as good as Big L. He said, I was like... Nah, Jay-Z held his own in that freestyle. 
freestyle. No, he did not. He held yeah, his he own. Did. No, he yeah, didn't. He, he must be talking yeah. about a different freestyle then. Jay Z held his own. I know Big L's. That's just like crazy freestyle. But okay, Jay-Z but I think it was ninety five. It's not ninety five freestyle because I was born in ninety five. I would know, bro. So Big L ninety eight, maybe sometime in the night. Big L, your grandfather, Willie, yeah, and Big L. Okay, you just said Big L three times. I did. Jimmy and Jimmy. oh, sorry, Jimmy Hendrix, yeah. your grandfather, Willie, Big L. Mm-hmm. I like that. All right, but that was my last. I need one. a bigger table. Right. Last time. last question here. Before we, we end off the show here, who do you think will be our next great guest here at Double M? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Can I recommend somebody? Yeah, sure. That's the, that's, that's the question. I'm going to go to my phone real quick. got to be selective. Yeah, you know, you can't, we can't have everybody here. But you can. Yeah, well, we can, not everybody in that aspect. We do our best to strive to get anybody. We can't have anyone. Once you, once you go black on Brockton, oh, there's, a, there's a standard we got to hold. You know what I'm saying? My dear friend, Dwight, who is the owner of A Man With A Vision, which is a clothing brand um, that he started some time ago. He has great communication skills. Um, he's doing work in the community with like Code Connect, etc. And I recommend him to be a part of you know podcasts. All right, so we'll, we'll be asking you for help on that. Let me text him right now, actually. Do that. Do that at the meantime. <laughs> Mark, Mike, nice. Take us home, brother. Mike, nice. We had a great, great time with Shalia tonight here at Double M live you know we want to thank warm studios as always we want to thank bet online ag their cold clns 50 mm-hmm. make sure you get on that this is black owned brockton this won't be the last time you see this face it won't be. this might be the first time you see it on screen but it won't be the last time it the it's last. about to it's about to go up from here double m live mike nice shulia dj Mees, warm studios we out of here to the moon. To the moon.